Dana Gray here at Red Wilson Field with YD Red Sox field manager Scott Pickler. A gorgeous day for a doubleheader against the Falmouth Commodores. But yesterday you guys suffered your first loss in a while. You guys were rolling on that three-game winning streak. Anything specifically you tell your team after a tough loss, after they've been playing so well, just to keep their heads up? You know, we had made a lot of little mistakes yesterday that cost us. I didn't think we played that bad. I, you know, we had a couple key situations where we could have scored some runs and opened it up and got the momentum our way. We had a couple of pickoffs we didn't throw and didn't throw with conviction. And both guys were out, and then the next guy, you know, hit a bomb on us, and we're out of that inning. We had a first and third where we picked the guy off third, and we don't make an accurate throw. So there were some little things that they didn't, we didn't deserve to win last night. You do those things right, you'll win a ball game. And a good chance to bounce back here with a couple of seven inning games against the Falmouth Commodores. You as a coach, is there anything different that goes into your preparation when you've got two games to play in one day, whether that be how you handle your fielding alignment, your batting order, or is there anything just different going on in your brain? No, because I try to hit my better hitters at the top of the lineup. And in high school, I did the same thing. And when I got to college, I did the same thing that I, I want my, I don't want to leave my better hitters on deck, you know, in the ninth inning. So I, it's not going to change anything that we've done. It will, you know, like I'll treat this as a shorter game when we're in the fifth inning we're like in the eighth inning you know and uh you know i'll if i have to execute a run at that time i'll i'll get that done and i heard through the grapevine that you're going to be going up to fenway tomorrow on the off day to take in the red Sox versus the minnesota twins chris sales pitching one of your former players any other reason for going up to fenway <laughs> that's a plus that i get to see sale but yeah this is my son's first year as a big league coach with the minnesota twins so i plan on He's going to get me on the field for BP. I'll say hi to Sam Travis and Rutledge, and I, it'll be tough to get to sale tomorrow because he is starting. If he wasn't starting, we planned on talking. But, uh, yeah, it'll be a great day to watch Chris throw and see my son try to beat him. Sounds great. Well, good to talk with you, Coach, as always. Good luck today. Thank you.